Hi, Senate Republican Leader Dan McConkie here at the Capitol on Memorial Day, where we've just had a service in order to uh, honor the fallen. Uh, from all across Illinois, all across the country, who have paid the ultimate sacrifice so that we can be free and we can be here today. I'm joined today by Gold Star mother Vonda Rogers, who came to honor her son, Sergeant Josh Rogers, uh, for him. He's from the uh, Bloomington area and uh, paid the ultimate price in 2017. Vonda, do you mind just telling us a little bit about your son and uh, what happened and, you know, just a little bit about his background? Absolutely. Josh was a 2013 graduate of Normal Community High School, and he went to the Army right after high school graduation, or, well, in August, but, you know, for a mama, it felt like right after. Sure. Um, he was, he wanted to be a special operations um, military. He wanted to be a ranger. That's what he set his sights on, and that's what he achieved within two years. He graduated ranger school in 2015. In 2017, he was on his third deployment to Afghanistan, and it was a pretty active deployment. The night that Josh was killed, April 27, 2017, they were actually on a skirmish against um, to take down the ISIS-K Amir, so really the most dangerous person in the world at that time. Um, it was the best night of Josh's life, I have no doubt. Uh, but not because he got killed that night, and that makes it the worst night of my life, but because that's what he had trained for, that's what he had prepared for and worked for, and really he felt, um, I have no doubt, because we talked just a few weeks before, that that was his purpose, that's what he was doing in this world, was protecting it. Um, that night, um, two things happened. Um, first, the helicopter that he was on wasn't able to land, and they had to fast rope down. So just like the movies, they come out of the helicopter. Um, sometime either in the fast rope or shortly after Josh was shot in the leg. But for many of us, that would have been our, you know, I'm out card, right? I, I, I'll, I'll sit this one out and wait for you guys. Not Josh. He tied his own tourniquet and he kept moving. Now for my heart, for a mom's heart, that told me he knew what he was in for. He knew what he was doing. And he made that decision at that point to keep moving forward. Shortly after midnight, he was fatally wounded. Um, he was shot as well as Sergeant Cameron Thomas. So um, we did lose two men that night. The mission was successful. People also ask, how can it be successful if your son was killed? And the mission was successful because the men did what they had to do that night. Many will say they enlist under the flag, but they fight for the men to their left and their right. And I have no doubt that's how Josh was. Uh, well, thank you very much for telling his story. I know that you will continue to do that and continue to honor his legacy. Uh, thank you very much for coming down here and uh, for continuing to, to, to do that for people all across the state. So thank you very much. Thank you.